Thank you for tuning in to this semi-final coverage of the 2024 Turtle Island Crokinole Championship. In the semi-final, we have Andrew Hutchinson, currently ranked third in the National Crokinole Association standings, versus Connor Ryman, currently tied for first alongside Justin Slater. These players have met many times before in semi-final and finals matches and have never disappointed the audience, so strap in for this exciting showdown. This is a race to nine, and the winner will go on to the finals to face Josh Carfiello. Hutchinson opens up with a 20. Ryman responds with a 20 of his own. Hutchinson is the first to miss, going long on the right side of the center. Ryman debating his best course of action. He does have hammer, so a roll away would be great here. Catches a peg and bounces back, giving a nice setup for Hutchinson. Potentially a touch 20 here. Gets the off with it, now up in the 20 cup. And Reinman coming up short, 20 advantage now to Hutchinson. Hutchinson content, not content to stick there. Potential follow through opportunity, but again sets Hutchinson up for a backboard which he converts on. Reinman going long this time, not quite finding his range. Hutchinson now more successful on that roll away, ending up between the posts, not giving Reinman a lot to work with. We are down to the final shots. Reinman needs these next two 20s for a chance to get back in this round. That all but seals it. Hutchinson gets a Final fourth 20, sealing this first round for Hutchinson, bringing the score two to zero. We see some replays of the few backboards that Hutchinson got there that helped pad his 20 count. Going to the second round, Ryman to open up, coming up short again. Not quite able to find his range on his open 20s yet in this match. Hutchinson makes him pay for that mistake. Now Reinman's found it. We'll see if he's able to keep it up. Hutchinson now to go long. Reinman against the hammer will be looking to make something happen here. Hutchinson doing a great job keeping play center there not giving Reinman any easy shots he pushes for a follow through but leaves Hutchinson lined up for a backboard 20 which he converts on Hutchinson now up in the 20s with the hammer in a very good position in the late stages of this round looks like he'll be trying to roll away catches a post but not unhappy with that Reinman probably able to get the off but Oh! Catches a post and just lips out of the center. It's unfortunate because a great shot like that, that almost goes in, ends up being a great setup, which Hutchinson was able to convert on. Hutchinson, well up in the 20s, takes this second round, bringing the score 4 to 0 for Hutchinson. See, again, almost identical backboards back to back. Hutchinson to open this third round, bouncing out leaving what looks to be a heavy hanger, which Ryman is able to convert on. Pressure now on Hutchinson against the hammer, coming up short again, maybe a touch opportunity here for Ryman. Gets the off, no 20 with it. Andrew also just lipping out of that center. Now a very nice touch 20 opportunity which Reinman converts on going up two in the cup with the hammer halfway through this round and Reinman is in a great position content to hit and stick there where Andrew doesn't have many options except to try to follow through Reinman making every little mistake hurt now up three to one twenties still unable to find his range on the open twenties but very much up in this round. Needs to be a little bit cautious as Andrew's making a bit of a comeback. Leaves a backboard, but even if Hutchinson gets this, all Ryman will need is a valid shot. 
which he gets with the 20. Ryman gets his first points of this game, bringing the score 4 to 2. Still for Hutchinson, but if Ryman can keep that momentum going, quite a few very nice shots from Ryman there. Ryman going long on the right side of the center. Hutchinson. Not sure if he was trying to follow through or roll away. Successful on neither, leaving an opportunity for Ryman to go up in the 20s cup. Hutchinson keeps the pressure on. It will come down to who messes up first. Players have now found the range. As we have seen in previous matches, both these players are very proficient at their 20 shooting. Hutchinson goes extremely long. Ryman now up in the cup against the hammer but play on the back side of the board let's see if hutchinson's able to bring it back in he is bouncing off a few pegs short of the 20 but at least play is now in the center ryman pushing for a follow through not quite able to convert and maybe a touch 20 opportunity here for hutchinson <laughs> waiting for that disc to come back a nice toss from Dale, I'm presuming. Not sure that wasn't on camera, but... Anyhow, interesting setup now. Ryman pushing through his own. Two discs on the board now. With a 20 advantage, Hutchinson has hammer, but needs to make something happen. A nice double. I think he was hoping to catch a post there as well for a potential 20. Hutchinson has an opportunity to tie the round here. If he can get the off and the 20. Oh, and just misses it. Lipping out in this fourth round will go to Ryman, who has now tied the score 4-4. Four to four. Very nice attempt from Hutchinson on that last shot, but no cigar. Hutchinson opening up the fifth round of this semifinal match. Seems that both players now have found their 20s range. Now the last time these... Two players faced each other was the semifinal round of the Ontario Singles Crokinole Championship, where Andrew Hutchinson took the win and went on to win the entire Ontario Singles Championship. Hutchinson the first to miss. Ryman with hammer content to roll away. Hutchinson, I believe, was trying to come back in there, but caught a post. Ryman is more than content to play on the outside here, even if he has to go through the posts. He does have hammer, so as long as he can keep his discs on the board, he will be very happy with this. Hutchinson may be an opportunity to come in here now. Not quite enough power. Gets it up to the 15 line, but not completely in. Ryman content just to block that laneway. Hutchinson on his last shot. Either need a nice hide or a follow through. Unfortunate. The power behind that suggests a follow through, but wasn't able to get it through the posts. Ryman yet again takes another round, now in the lead of this match with a score of 6 to 4. Ryman, with lots of momentum going behind him now, comes up short on this first open 20. Hutchinson looks like he was trying to roll away a bit. Potentially a angle in opportunity, but Reinman goes long. Way on the far side of the board, closer to Hutchinson. Oh, beautiful defensive play. Keeping that disc on the board for newer Crokinole players. Since Hutchinson has hammer, he's not looking to get the opponent disc off. Because it gives his opponent a very tough peel. If Ryman wants to get play back to the center, he basically has to clear everything off. So Hutchinson just leaves them with extremely difficult 20s. Both those served as a challenge for Ryman. Now Hutchinson has an opportunity at an open 20. Ryman will be forced to peel. And another 20 opportunity. And if Hutchinson can get this, he will be in a great position. He goes long, but on the right side. Ryman has not much choice but to go for a follow through, which he is unable to convert on. Hutchinson is up in the 20. 
and with the hammer for this round. He is not super happy, it seems, with that shot, but still didn't leave Ryman with a lot of options. Hutchinson most likely to keep play on the outside here. Yes, he catches that post. Very nice. Ryman has no shot at this round now. And this round will go to Hutchinson. Tying up the score yet again. Players at 6-6. Six to six, Neck and neck. They've been going back and forth. Trading rounds. And we see tons of defensive play from Hutchinson there. For newer players, again, take notes. That is a fantastic strategy when you're up in the 20s. Or you have hammer and not down. Hutchinson scored his first 20. And Ryman left him a backboard. Most likely another 20 to come now. Hutchinson is able to convert. Now up two in the 20s cup. He is against a hammer. So that initial 20s advantage is a very great start for Hutchinson. Ryman's lips out again. Very unhappy with that shot. Another touch 20 opportunity if Hutchinson comes up the right side. Very nice. Doesn't get the off, but again, he's up 320s now. Ryman now finding his range, and Hutchinson content to just play on the outside here. He'll be forcing Ryman to try to get play back into the center. Ryman close, but catches that peg and bounces back. Play will be on his side of the board now, though, which will make getting play back to the center a little bit easier. Ryman almost going long, luckily catches a post, keeping him in the 15. We'll see if Hutchinson is able to get play back out. He keeps it on his side in the 15. Looks to be slightly posted. And Ryman bounces back, play back on the outside now. Again, Hutchinson happy. Ryman rolling back in. We see this very back and forth chess match of Hutchinson just trying to keep any opportunity away from Ryman. And that is around. Score is now 8-6 to six for Hutchinson because of some very nice defensive play. Yet again for a second round in a row. Hutchinson is one round away from winning the semifinal match and moving on to the finals. We seem to be down a camera now, so I will apologize for any shots that we may miss. Pressure is on Ryman. He is against a hammer, so he needs to make something happen here. Andrew didn't seem super happy with that, but again, blocks a laneway, and Ryman unable to follow through in. He also doesn't get the off. Hutchinson more than content to hit and stick there with two discs on the board. With Hammer, he is in a very strong position right now. Ryman taking his time with this shot. He needs to follow through. Oh, in just ever so slightly long. That is tough. We are down to almost halfway through this round. And so far, Hutchinson is relatively in control. But if Ryman keeps making shots like that, oh my. Hutchinson with a follow through of his own. And oh wow, Ryman answers right back. What a beautiful exchange. Back to back follow throughs, my oh my. And from the 15 line as well, Hutchinson with an open 20 keeping the pressure on. Can Ryman follow suit? He does. He needs a mistake out of Hutchinson now. Both players ought to be feeling very confident, but also feeling the pressure. Down to Hutchinson's last two shots. Unable to get it. Now, this is a tough position. If Ryman can get this 20, unable. It looks like this final round will go to Hutchinson. He just needs us off. You see him taking his time. We won't see the last shot until he leans away. And there you have it. Hutchinson takes this last round, bringing the score 10-6. Hutchinson will move on 
to the final match of the Turtle Island Crokinole Championship, and he will be up against Josh Carfiello. If you haven't seen that other semifinal match, I highly recommend you give it a watch. But now it is just between these two. So tune in Saturday, August 10th to see the finals match between Andrew Hutchinson, currently ranked third in the National Crokinole Association, versus Josh Carfiello, currently ranked fourth. Thank you for tuning in. If you like this content, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And tune in this Saturday to see the finals match between these two Crokinole Titans. Thank you for tuning in, and make it a great day.